describe in this lesson how opposite quantities combined make zero. Let's say we had a seventh grade girl and she had no money, but it was her birthday and she received twenty dollars. So Teresa decided, well, I'm going to go and spend some of this and buy myself presents that I want. So she went and to a couple of stores and bought things she wanted and spent $20. So she received $20. Her money went up. She spent $20. Her money went down. How much money does she have now? You're right. She doesn't have anything. She has some nice presents, however. Sometimes everyday occurrences also add up to zero. Five days a week I drive to work. If yesterday I drove eight miles to work, here I go, but then at the end of the day I drove home How far am I from my house? I drove eight miles to work and eight miles back. Right, I'm zero miles from my home. When we combine opposite operations, we get zero. She received $20, she spent $20. I went to work, and drove 8 miles, and then I drove back 8 miles. I'm back at the original destination, uh, original place, my home. I'm zero miles from my home. I wanted to tell you something you probably don't know about chicken eggs. Because when you go to the store, usually you see them white or brown eggs. But did you know that chicken eggs also come in green and blue? and they're not painted, they're just made that way naturally. 